Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi, my name is Muhammad Yusuf Baskara The most outstanding student of diploma program of Telkom University In this occasion, I would like to present informative speech related to the SDGs 14 Life below water The ocean is a place where millions of living things live The ocean ecosystem is one part of the human life development and other living creatures. According to the United Nations, 3 billion people depend on the sea and coastal biodiversity for their livelihoods. Currently, 30% of the world fish population experience over exploitation caused by humans. It may cause the extinction of the population. Allow me to deliver an example. One of Netflix documentaries entitled Sea Piracy examines various ocean problems such as degrees in the fishery sector, surface at sea, the destruction of marine ecosystems, and the failed concept of sustainable fisheries. The solution offered in this documentary is the only way to prevent various impacts caused by the fish industry. It's a bad idea due to a major impact on the economy. Concerning to the latest fish and fishing journal, there are around 260 million jobs in marine fisheries sector worldwide. If the solution is to decrease seafood consumption, then it will have a significant impact on the jobs including underemployment because of lack of marine consumption and structural unemployment due to fishery sector spending. Therefore, this cannot be the best solution for the issue. However, we need to be aware of the effects in the fishing industry which may contribute to damage marine ecosystems. One of the most viral campaigns in the world is the anti-plastic campaign started with a viral video showing viral video showing a turtle whose nose got stuck in plastic straw. The anti-plastic straw movement is better than ever because it supports plastic reduction even though the data that drives the creation of this campaign is still unreliable. In particular, the media claim that are 500 million plastic straws consumed per day by Americans, in which the survey is conducted by 9-year-old children. Besides, 8.3 billion plastic straws exist on global coastline, but only 0.03% of the 8 million metric tons of plastic reaching the ocean in certain years. This means that reducing the use plastic straw couldn't guarantee of exiting of, ma of marine debris in the ocean, and it is even such a diversion to cover another big issue causing the damage to marine ecosystems. Regarding recent survey conducted by scientists affiliated with the ocean clean up by taking survey samples and aerial surface found that 46% of the plastic in the, great, in the Great Pacific Trust comes from one product, fishing nets. This has become a complicated problem encouraging the flopping countries to make the rule for every fishing gear label with a logo or company name to recognize. However, this will not to apply to developing countries, including Indonesia, as the waste management system is poor. A study found that fishermen in Indonesia wouldn't collect trash in the ocean unless they are given the incentive to bring another people's nets ashore. Therefore, decreasing seafood consumption to prevent the destruction of marine ecosystems in Indonesia is not a proper as it may cause the impact on the economy. As a matter of fact, we can start educating the public throughout 
the various impacts of excessive exploitation of marine research and the prohibition of using dangerous tools. Thank you very much.